Hello. So technically this video is about the Riptide from Eventide, uh, but forget about that. Um, it is about the Riptide from Eventide, but uh, Patrick from Eventide did something really, really horrible. I should have really put this camera further up. Uh, but he said that uh, sometimes he sends my videos to John Mayer uh, to use as a manual or something because uh, Patrick thinks the video is good. Thank you, Patrick. But now it's all in my head. And I'm like, how am I going to do this video? So you should turn this off because this video isn't going to be for you. It is literally just going to be for John Mayer. So this is the video for John. Hello, John. Um, if you're still watching, uh, please don't feel addressed because it is literally just a video for a single man. Um, and we're going to start it right about now. <laughs> Here we are. Hello, Johnny boy. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little ditty. It had the pedal in it, but subtly, which is what you can do. You know, you're the master of subtle. To everyone who's not John Mayer, enjoy. Maybe some of this information is for you. Primarily, it is for the Maymeister. Baron von Mayhausen. The Mayfly. I don't know. This is, this is all I have, really. John, I hope you enjoy the cats. I wear them specifically just for you. Here we go. It is a, uh, a pedal we talk about today, and it is the Riptide by Eventide, which uh, does uh, two things. One of these screechy things, but you got your super expensive clon for that. You don't need that, but um, and, and you might not want a digitally derived drive, derived drive, but maybe you do because uh, the green one's actually pretty damn cool. And then it's got this uh, shwoobie wooby kind of uh, vibey thing. I don't know if you've used that. 
give the man a freaking amp and a guitar and it just sounds like John Mayer. You don't need gear. But if you want the shrubby shrubby thing, the Riptide might be for you. And this is what it looks like. Thank you, Leslie. I love the color. Don't you just love the color, John? This is actually easy. This is bass player easy. Or maybe strat player easy. Who knows? We've got no secondary functions. We got vibe and then speed is fast and then intensity is how much. This switches from the drive. Right now it's drive into, no, vibe into drive. And the other way is drive into vibe, which is more severe. Then you've got drive tone level. That's, those are, in case you don't know, uh, controls you have on overdrives. Uh, this turns the drive on and off. This turns the vibe on and off. I mean, even Tight made a super simple pedal here. Uh, if you want the other kind of drive, because there's two, le deux, as they say in France, that uh, you've been to France, right? You tour everywhere. I mean, you... What a, you know, let's talk about this for a second. You didn't have to do the touring everywhere, just to let you know. Like, it must be annoying to be on, on all those stadiums in the world and all those stages and the buses and the, the airplanes. That's annoying. You know what? You went to Berkeley, just like I did, but you're a dropout. You left. You dropped out of that school. If you had the discipline back then and just stayed, just followed through, got your degree or diploma, you know what? You could have a small YouTube channel like I have. You could be right where I am, demoing gear, not having to be on private planes and mansions and stages in the world and, and the girls and the... You wouldn't have to have any of that. You could have a super small YouTube channel where you talk about gear. You took that away from yourself because you didn't have the discipline to stick with it. Two different drives. Two different vibes. This is more phasey, this is more classic-y, and that's really all it is. Once you hold this in, you know this, John, you've got more of these pedals. You then can click through the presets right there. Five is the number, and then you activate it by clicking there. Of course, more presets available through MIDI. If we look in the back, there is an in, which can be switched to stereo. There's a stereo out, which is cool because you don't need two Shinai vibes. At the bottom of it, you can switch it to line level if you wanted to. We are, of course, on guitar level. And this expression thing can be switched to a uh, multitude of things. It can be expression. It can be expression plus aux. Don't know what that means. Uh, triple aux. Ah, it could be an expression and a an extra clicky switch. What, what for? I don't know. Uh, it can be MIDI and a MIDI TRS. So with MIDI, of course, you have access to all the different parameters as continuous controllers and more presets up to 127. Do you really need that? I think five is more than enough. You can also uh, MIDI clock it. There's also bypass can be switched from buffer, relay, DSP and effects and kill dry, depending on the setup where you have that if your guitar dry segment goes somewhere else, you can have this only be effects. And there's also a catch-up, which is not like Mayo. Or must <clears throat> function where uh, when you switch a preset, uh, it shows you where the knob was. Uh, okay, uh, with the expression, you can morph completely between two different setups within heel and toe. If you wanted that, I'm not going to show you any of this stuff. We're going to go and have some nice swooshy swooshy vibey sounds. Going right now for the stereoness. In case you don't know, the stereo is when you have two into uh, modeling pedals. But I tried something new. Uh, I'm using the Woodrow from Universal Audio, uh, which is Tweedy, Tweedesk, Tweedelicious, Tweedy Bird. I'm nervous. I mean, I'm talking to one of my heroes. I'm sorry. We, uh, again, if I'm lucky, I get one single. Um, Patrick from Eventide might watch it first, and then John Mayer, and then the video's done. Two clicks on YouTube. That'll earn me. Ascend? No, probably not even. Ah, I'm doing this for the honor, come on. Yeah, so a Tweety Bird uh, amp into the new Ox Stomp by Universal Audio, which actually gets me, I think, a better sound because it's the cap that I picked with a little bit of reverb from said pedal. I'm using this guitar, 
which seems a little bit familiar, and now it doesn't. Um, it has three of the singly pickups. You might know them. It has five different switches. Some of the old ones you might have have three. I don't know what the difference is. It makes thinner sounds. Um, but they're nice. They make you feel connected to the instrument. But you know that because you play that and you usually play like three notes and they're, ah, and they're amazing and everyone in the world wants those three notes. What they don't understand is they have to cut your fingers off and get your fingers because that's how you get them. And it's not the clone and it's not your amp and it's not even your freaking guitar. It's you. I do like that modeler because it doesn't feel like one. Especially with that... Um, Ox stomp behind it in my Creamback 412 with the 57 and a ribbon and the room and a little bit of reverb. I mean, come on. By the way, I cannot play a single John Mayer song. I, I mean, I can play maybe this. One more time. Another part uh, that everyone hates you for. Who comes up with the shit? Then you do the weird stuff with the thumb. I can't do the thumb stuff. I mean, what kind of hands do you have? I, I do this, but you probably do this. It's, I can't do the thumb stuff, which is why I can't do the that other song that's really complicated. I tried. But I literally, that, that's all I know. Because you know what? When someone's brilliant, why even try to play this stuff? Why? I'd rather play other things that I can play. So, um... It's a great sound. So we're going to start with the vibe. Expensive chords, let's do uh, cheap chords. Oh, I'm switching keys there. but I really can't do that. The fast speeds really only work when you have less intensity because right now it's like <laughs> who wants that? Let's get more vibe in. I mean, lush, thick, beautiful. 
gets a lot thicker when you put the drive in front of it. But why am I telling you this? Everyone looks for you for tone ideas. So why am I even? I don't know. But for if, if there's a third person watching other than Patrick and the Johnnynator. E. And now in red. More severe, more phasey. Yeah, German playing blue is not happening. All the vibe sounds you possibly want are there. We're gonna turn this side off. We're gonna turn it to green and turn it off. Now we're gonna go drive, but of course drive really we want into a real amp, which we're gonna do uh, in a sec. First, we're gonna go into the modeler, which is good enough absolutely to show you what it can do. We're on red, we're on green. We're gonna start on the green and that's your typical green pedal. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I don't know if you, do you have one of those green things? I don't know, I don't look at your pedal, pedal board. It's too depressing. It's subtle, it gives that, that mid kick. It wasn't on those settings, it was on a preset setting thing. <laughs> drink of tone juice. Imagine what you can get out of the thing with your fingers because this is shit! Oh!
way more range than the typical green pedal because I think it's digital. <laughs> Let's go to the red side. It's too mid stuff for me. It's too harsh, too cold, but maybe you like that. Is this one of yours? I don't know. I, I don't know all the albums. I have no idea. Yes, I do. I like the green side more, especially when you treat it dynamically with uh, this thing that makes volume up and down. I lost my key. Some some joke about a locksmith. Insert here. Lost my key. Get it. Uh. For which it seems to be a digital emulation of a drive pedal. <sighs> Even tight. Freaking nailed it. Now let's combine them for these whooshies. I forgot, uh, Tim Pierce sometimes watches my Eventide videos as well. Hi Tim, you're the fourth person watching this. Uh, co come on! Let's put a delay on from the Ox Storm. <laughs> Flat nine, party! <sighs> That's the note I'm looking for. Use this one when you're doing A e flat minor. Love it. Let's pump drive into vibe. Thank you. 
and the red one. I, th I, I just like the green one. And uh, the red vibe. That's really going now. Pretty stunning sounds there and remember if you wanted to do that with a real univibe first of all univibes are very expensive because of something called opto things i mean you don't care about expensive i mean clearly not a companies give you stuff rightfully so because brilliance but also um i think you could afford it but then you would need two shinai Univibes and you'd have to sync them somehow. How are you gonna do that? Don't even try uh, Talk to Patrick about getting the Riptide. You probably have one in front of you. Why else would you be watching this video? So we're gonna go into an actual amp now. You have those I'm going into the Royalist by Tone King Into the Riptide through the H90, which right now is not on, into the Royalist, and then into the Ox with the 412 cream back loader. I mean, it's the same setup I just had, just the actual Ox, not the Ox Stomp. <laughs> Talking is... Driving a bit, let's change. It's of course also driving a bit because of these things, Mr. Mayer, that you might not be familiar with, they're called humbuckers. Uh, some guitars have these double pick. You, you only know your single things, okay? All your guitars have these single things, they're called single cars. These are called humbug hum humbuckers. Um, they're like the ones you have, just two of them. And the result is more and fat and also other, other sounds can be had with it. You should try them. There's uh, probably guitars at your local shop that have these in them, or ask uh, Mr. Smith to send you some of these. This, of course, is the STS Okita, all sustainably sourced and made in Germany. Nothing had to cross any oceans to build this guitar. Absolutely stunning, semi-hollow, so things are, these are actual holes. They're not F holes, they're triangle holes. Beautiful guitar, thank you, Jonas from STS Guitars. And here we go into that amp. Oh, and the delay is coming also from the aux again. You have to hit the strings that you actually have your fingers on. It's a good tip. If you have fingers like, let's say, on the D string, don't play that string. Play the string that your fingers are on. That is how this thing works. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
It's so nice. But let's turn that off and look at the drive. Beautiful chunky kind of chaka chaka thing. Let's go to the red one. Yeah, very mid stuff. If you wanted the heavier things, it can do that. I love the not so heavier things. Oh, uh, before I forget, I really wanted to thank you because uh, this one time you publicly said that my body is a wonderland. I mean, it is. Thank you. It made me feel really good. And because um, I don't get to hear that a lot. So I felt validated. And thank you. Beautiful for leads, that movement in there, as you would well know. I'll switch to something else just for the fun of it. Let's go to the Laney LA30BL, which we just got back in the studio up there. <laughs> That works rather nicely. And we're gonna go to just one more. The Morgan MVP 66, which is JTM-ish. <laughs> Let's do it dry. So that amp is driving nicely. Probably more drive than you ever used in your life. We're gonna kick it in even more with this thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, yeah. So the, the Riptide by the Eventide is good. If you're into uh, vibey things, I don't remember. You, you use crazy effects. I, I, I listen to your music. I don't really dive into what sound is he using. What pedal could that be? I don't give a flying rat's ass. I just enjoy the music. Uh, but you should try this out because it literally is it's, it's small enough. I mean, you've got people carrying the pedal boards for you, so you don't really care. Uh, but it's stereo, and you don't need two of these old things. And most companies doing the old things sell them for lots of money, like Pedal Pawn and J Rocket's got a really good vibe, but they're all the analog kind. That means you need two, and there's a thousand bucks gone, and you need to carry them. And this um, is from your friends at Eventide, and he, he, oh, he has presets. We haven't even checked out the presets. Let's do this. So I click this. Oh, that's uh, very wrong. What am I doing? Probably do. <laughs> See, I just use my pinky. <laughs> A kick ass. Oh, I was on the wrong pitch. Whoa, that's why it sounds so. Urgh. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm on D. Okay, awesome. It's a good pedal. Probably costs X amount of money. Uh, thank you, Leslie. Uh, Beautiful color, simple operation, no dual layer controls. It is, uh, yeah, and all that. Uh, thank you for indulging me. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. Fine. Sue me. No, don't. You have very expensive lawyers. Do not sue me. Just uh, take it in the respectful homage that it was <laughs> intended to be in. Um, Thank you Eventide for commissioning this video. I can't believe they paid for that, but I hope they will, because I need to eat. And as always, links below and animals at the end. Mm -hmm.